you know, is your pool open or closed? Um, so it's open in New York. It's yeah. Well, the subway's a a swimming pool in New York. Holy crap! Did you guys see the pictures of like the subway in Brooklyn? Bonkers. Holy shit! Yep, that would be a little scary. Nah. We got uh, we got an entire month of rain in less than twelve hours, about eight hours here where I live. So we had some in fact, it, we had some flooding, but only in the low areas, low lying areas. Well, in in Europe, uh, in many of the rich quarters, and especially in London, um, there's this new thing among posh people that they all get uh, basement uh, swimming pools, and I guess in New York, that's just all of them now. Hmm. Swimming pools perfectly in your dry. basement. Really? Yeah, it's it's an, yeah it's uh, because you can't you can't really uh, expand or improve the value of these really uh, old apartment blocks because you can't expand or build in any direction, right? They're, they're kind of locked it's in. hilarious, Caleb trying to talk shit. So in 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 the basements, they then do this luxury uh, swimming pool spa stuff to uh, increase the value. It's wow, that's got to really increase the uh, moisture content down there by your foundation. Woo. But they also drill down even further. So there's like two or three basement uh, levels in many of those buildings, which is kind of weird and hilarious. Wow. We put them on the roof. Yeah, but they're not so allowed to build be up fire. because it's uh, it's uh, it's old buildings, so you're not allowed to do that. Just get rid of the first. When they put thing. a pool in on the roof, Caleb, they don't build additional floors. No, I'm saying in old building, in old European style buildings that are usually scheduled, and you're not allowed to mm. to really do anything to them. You can only do stuff on the inside, so you're not even allowed to put a pool on the roof of those things. But you can put it in the basement, and you are allowed to drill further down and add further sub uh, levels to the basement. Okay, as long as, yeah, as, long as you don't if, like hit something that's underneath it, like not not for nothing, Caleb. But if if you're trying to say they're doing that in New York City, that's granite they'd have to be going through. I'm not saying they do it in New York City. He's I'm just saying, saying all the flooding. You've got them. All the, all the flooding creates natural. Yes, and then uh, he segued into this where they're oh they're putting it in the basement, dude. Stop. Time out. All right. I could put one in my basement. That'd be kind of cool. But why would you? I, really? You know, it just be. You know, you never really get the air movement when you put it in the basement, right? Those indoor Don't. pools are a pain in the ass. You do need ventilation. Like, I mean, that's a given. Like. <laughs> Any indoor pool, though, you walk into the indoor pool area, you get the humidity, you get the chlorine, you get the whole thing. And yeah, you definitely I've, need the I've, ventilation because, again, yeah. chlorine. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna fill my basement with toxic gas. Oh even, yeah. <laughs> even if you have a salt pool, it still converts it to chlorine in the converter. So yeah. I, I've been toying with putting a pool in the backyard. Not convinced. But if I do, I'm decking my entire backyard so I don't have to cut the grass anymore. It, it's, it's a pain in the ass. Don't do it. I know. I grew up with a pool. My parents have always had a pool at their house. My parents, ready for this one, horrendous? Mm. We lived at a house, and they had an above-ground pool. And the new people moving in didn't want a pool. So he paid people, my dad, to move that pool to the new house. Okay. And then eventually uh, that pool. Okay. Yeah, then eventually they got rid of the above ground pool and put in put a, <laughs> just put be a below ground pool. I'm just like, why would you it's gotta be cheaper just to buy a new one? <laughs> yeah, I I would imagine so. I, See I have, I have no idea. I've never my asked family you. my family decided like in the late eighties to put a pool in, right? Mm -hmm. And for some reason, they decided, you know what? You know how we should do this? We should put an above ground pool in ground. Well, and build a deck around it. Ah, so they like half submerged. The backyard like is a slope. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 
I understand like, why they did the above ground thing. Yeah. <sighs> How'd that work out for him? It it was fine, you know, but the whole point of the pool was so that my father could use it because he had, you know, he had both his knees replaced, so they wanted to be able to, right? But he never yeah. used the damn thing. Well, he didn't want to rust. <sighs> Fifteen years later, when they decided, yeah, listen, we're gonna we're gonna put a deck at the back door instead of around the pool, they had to get the pool completely taken down and filled in. And now what had been a smooth, easy slope from the back of the house to the to the property line yeah. has this it looks like it's got a hunchback oh because God. they filled the pool in. You know, they, 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 they built up the ground around the pool so that they could, you know so so that it would properly support the, the water. But when they had the pool filled back in, they didn't regrade the slope. They just had it filled in. Yeah, yeah you got to regrade the slope. Pain in the ass. We had a, I watched a, you know, on a golf course I play, there was a house on top of the hill. And, um, you know, I think two bulldozers went over the hill building this pool because they had to reinforce the yeah. hill to build it. And then of course, it's just not a pool up there. They built like this giant rock mountain on the side of the pool so they could have a giant waterfall. Of course. But yeah, I mean, down this pretty there steep is, hill. There is, there is nothing us middle-class bougie white folk likes more than our water features. <laughs> I, I, I do have a fountain out in front of my house. See? <laughs> I was not kidding. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, you can make fun of me. I'm good. It runs all the time. 24-7. As long as it's mind you, mind you, the, 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 the hill in front of my parents' place, because like the, the house is on the side of the hill right yeah. and there's and across the street is the ha the hill starts getting a serious slope to it so like the 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 basement of the house across the street is probably two stories above my parents roof line right mm -hmm. jesus and you talking about bulldozers going over the hill right there was i i remember sitting in my parents den when I was younger, right? Watching as somebody went, pulled in the driveway across the street, right up the hill, right? Got out of their little Volkswagen bug and went inside without putting on the parking brake. Oh. And the bug comes down the hill straight at me. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, fuck. Like, it, it catches itself on the curb on our side of the street. Oh, shit. <laughs> With the front <laughs> wheels, not the rear wheels. So, like, it's sitting on the curb, like, ripped out the entire under undercarriage. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going, well, that was fun. <laughs> <sighs> Bit of a heart-stopping moment. Only in retrospect. At the time, it was just kind of a, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> my, uh... My grandfather had an alleyway, his backyard graded up toward this alleyway behind him. And right. so he had a narrow lot, right? And somebody was changing a tire and the tire just rolled straight down the hill, right off his cement wall and impacted right into the side of his brick house. They had to completely redo it. I mean, if it would have been a foot to the left, to the right, it would have come right through his window into his dining room. Yeah, like if this, if this, if this car had not stopped, had not caught itself on the curb, and the only reason it caught itself on the curb is there's a storm drain there, so the curb is like extra deep at that spot. Mm -hmm. If it hadn't caught itself there, it would have come right wow. through the the front window, the the big bay window in the den. <laughs> like well, straight heavy, <laughs> and you said a Volkswagen Bug too, so that was probably was, a yeah, manual like, back then, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's probably slipped well, this, out of this gear. This was an old, this was an old seventies Super Beetle. 
Well, he mean I mean we're, we mean it was the old the old Super Beetles, not the new Bug. Yeah. Well, those are manual too. Um, Most of them are automatic here. Yeah, you don't find very many manual oh, right, cars because in the US. Americans can't drive manual. I uh, it's not it's not really so much can't as why bother. Yeah, if, yeah I mean, if you fun. live in an area like me, we've got just so many hills. It's just such a pain in the ass to have a manual. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're driving a, if you're driving a sports car or you're you know driving something that's there to mm-hmm. carry cargo, yeah, of course you're going to use a manual that that's got the better torque. But if you're just driving a you know, yeah, I'm just I'm just going to slip around town in this thing. Why the fuck bother? Because it's more fun. It's really not. When yeah, you can't act- when you can't actually accelerate anywhere because there's freaking traffic lights every hundred feet. No, it really isn't. All right, that's the issue, though. Yeah. Well, and, you know and what? we have speed limits. <laughs> it's not like the autobahn. You know? We got speed limits here too. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm sure I'm sure people take the speed limit real seriously when it just says C on the limit time. Well, and to be fair, right? Uh, sorry, um, but in on the autobahn, you're basically going into manual because you're only driving at the highest gear, right? No, you don't. There's people who drive slower than you. Are uh, you can't just you know hog the left line? That's illegal. <laughs> Well, so yeah, so I don't think I was below six gear when I was driving it at all. Uh, it always depends on when you're driving and uh, what route. And all of it is not uh, free limit anymore. It happened to Aspen. Hey, when my wife and I got married, we had a we had a manual transmission car that was hers. We had a Ford Probe. Can you believe that? It was manual. It's kind of fun to drive, but again, automatic, easier. I mean, shit, when I'm on the highway, I like my, you know, the cruise control that keeps the distance between you and the car in front of you. Mm. You know, if if they slow down, you slow down, you know, it's kind of cool. Yep. What is that? that? That's the adaptive cruise control, they call that. So I just set it on like, you know, 90. Go. <sighs> okay. Hi, Don. How you doing, dear? Wait, Latin uh, doing uh, tournament commentary? Yep, and he mm-hmm. is massively groomed. He looks like he just went uh, to the barber shop and then straight to the set. Yeah, I see that. He's looking I'm... sharp as fuck. Yeah, oh, that man. hair yeah, and, the, and the beard is like perfectly groomed, and uh, yeah, he looks like he came just from the barber and the country club and straight into fun. the studio. I, I've been cleaning and packing all morning for my move. Sold my house on Tuesday, mm-hmm. and oh. hopefully, we're hoping we can close next this coming week or the week after for my new place. But I have cash in hand, so I'm currently flush with cash. Flush. The girl is flush How much with money? cash. Unfortunately, it's not as much as I'd like, but you know, you take is, it, is it is it enough for you to sort of be in a room and then just fling it up in the air and like? Oh just, yeah, like, if I got all ones, like, I, could, uh, I could roll around in it. <laughs> Everyone, link your Amazon wish list to <laughs> Zone now. What was that? Um, in uh, History of the World Part Two, right? Treasure bath. You're gonna go have a treasure bath. That'd be nice. There you go. But no, so we've had to clean my house today and you know, you start finding like furniture you haven't moved in like five years and you're like, oh behind just, it and just whatever you do, Dawn, don't do a like ducktails swan dive into uh into it. Like it can probably yeah. hurt a lot more than you think. Probably a yeah. bad idea, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we had to get, get a dumpster. Tub. Oh, you got we a dumpster. To... Yeah, because like I my mattress was like going on like Six years or something, mm-hmm. so it was time. Ta- it was time for it to to be uh, thrown out. And then I had another mattress that was just like a spare one that also was like, yeah, we can get rid of that. And then uh, my previous roommate, one of my previous tenants, had brought home this like 
concrete cylinder from work he was going to try to use as a fire pit whenever he moved, but he never took it with him. So I've just had this concrete thing in, you know, next to my house. It's not huge, but it's heavy. And we were finally, we had put two, let me tell you, if OSHA saw it, they probably would have cried. But we put two two by fours up to the bottom of the of the dumpster. It wasn't very high, but it was like a maybe six or seven inch, you know, step up into the dumpster. So we put two by fours up and just went, ah! just rolled it as fast as we could up it, and got it in. So it's finally leaving the house, and cool. uh, clean out the garage and everything. Uh, and it's not fun when your parents are helping because then they start looking like I bought this for you three years ago and you haven't done anything with it and you're like hey, it's because I didn't really want it. That's when you say get <laughs> over it, Paco. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I just kept. I'm like I'm getting free help. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Say whatever you want, no matter how annoying and how much I want to just snap at you guys. Just it's free help. It's free help. Someone else is doing it. Just keep your mouth shut, grin and bear it, and then. You know, and then just curse them in your head. <laughs> the, uh, you know, when you think of your parents, right? And when they buy you gifts and things. Now, my parents, like, my mom buy me a shirt or something, right? And I, you wear it, and she goes, is that the shirt I bought you that you're wearing? Do you yeah. like it? Oh, okay, I'm yeah. wearing it. The worst part is when my mom will buy me something that I do like and I'll wear it for a while. And then after, like, because I, and I like it and I wear it a lot. And then she's like... After six months, she'll be like, Lucy, that's so ratty. Just get something else. And I'm like, but <laughs> it's really nice. She's like, she's like, yeah, but you wear it all the time. I'm like, because I like it. There you go. So, good, and now everyone knows my gift. real name. Good Lucy. gift. All right. So what, let's see, so what, you know, what else can we talk about here? You're getting a well, new place. Time. Hopefully you got one picked out. You're trying to close on it. I right? do. Yeah, uh, I hear like, there are some, uh, it, it, it's 20 past, so we can talk about it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. th there yeah, are some changes about. to insurance we can talk about. Oh my god. Oh no. Or lack thereof. The, uh, apparently, according to, what was it, CCP Dopamine, mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, insurance algorithm is not working correctly. And, no, he, didn't, uh, he never said that. He sure did. No, he didn't. He said they're looking into it. He said it's not working as, as it's intended. Well, they didn't change it. They didn't touch it. So it's working as it's always worked. It's just that it's lagging. Okay, I, I don't want you the and your they, semantic sass today, good sir. Hold up. Hold <laughs> up a second here, Caleb. The fact that they haven't directly touched the insurance algorithm does not mean it's working the way it's always worked. That's true. There is no way you can make that claim about anything in Eve code. Well, we didn't touch this bit, so it can't have changed. We know that doesn't. We we know that that's not how things work in Eve. Yeah, I don't need a semantics argument again about something. It's like, you know what I mean. You can Shit's infer, broken. and you can take the logical steps to get from A to B. Please. Shit's broken, and it's CCP code. I don't have to lead you like a uh, like a dumb cow to water, okay? Well, it's more likely that it's, uh, it's a pond. not reacting fast enough because of the lack of activity it's, in the market. How involved. it's been four months since the industry change came out, and they didn't think maybe we should adjust for PI and everything when we add PI to all of the industry stuff. That's Just saying, after that, like two months, they might have figured it out. It's not how that algorithm is supposed to work. Oh, well, now they've got to change it to actually match what goes into these dang ships. If it's going to cost me five bill to buy a dread and fit it up and everything, or up more, some of them are eight bill, then I should at least get back something from it. Yeah. Not this pittance T T two insurance that we're looking at. So the master is asking us to yeah. elaborate on the the changes yep. to insurance. Because I didn't really look into it. I just know that insurance is now lower. Well, because they're not being traded openly, so they can't use the universal uh, price marker. They have to use the other one that's the alternative, that's basically the backup, uh, which is based on the components, right? 
and that hasn't actually moved fast enough either. So both of those price uh, mechanics in the algorithm has not really reacted to the changes, but it's not because the algorithm is broken. It's just the algorithm is a very slow moving reacting uh, average. I think when Quant uh, changed it, um, I think they made it a 60 day uh, moving average sensitivity. So it's a, I don't remember exactly what the changes were, but what, back when it was horribly broken, it was fixed and it was fixed to actually take these things into account. Like the fact that some items are not traded uh, as much uh, in its finish, uh, finished product. Um, so it needs to be based on an actual composite and industry uh, price instead. And yeah, it's been working since then, but the, the whole thing when you get the effect of a new industry change and the hype cycle, um, you basically get these problems, right? It's... Oh, someone wants to know what the industry, what the insurance changes are. And I don't there think we none. ever got into, there are I don't none. think we, well, that's the problem. It, so the, what we're bringing, but, let's but it's not, explain you're claiming quick. it's a problem. You, we don't know yet. If, if it's, it, if it's, uh, if it's a fact that no. there are things in the components that are not being added because it doesn't, un, it, it doesn't see them and, and doesn't One notice them. One way or another, them. it is clearly a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem of like a technical. It's more of a problem of we. Sh okay, so to what I want to clarify for the master where we're where we're here is that the insurance doesn't seem to be updated to match the changes that they made to in industry to make it worth it for dreadnoughts like it used to be. You used to be able to, you know, lose a dread and you would lose it. Would, you would get back a reasonable amount or even sometimes full coverage because of oh. of minerals. And now yeah. it's like. 500 yeah, mil mind, for a three bill let's, dread let's keep in mind that dreads being disposable is definitely something they saw as a problem yeah but the same thing happened to battleships i mean so, so right dreads being somewhat disposable is one of the reasons why you can have you know the the you, you, why you know groups can actually fucking kill supers all the time and if you're you know if you're genuinely concerned about you know the the amount of super caps and titans in the game then uh, i'm sorry but fucking frigates aren't gonna fucking cut it like, right but at the same time at the same time dreads are so damn are, are ridiculously effective against sub caps too if you want your if you want your dreads to be there for killing supers and you want them to be disposable for killing supers that's great but then don't make it so that dreads absolutely slaughter the shit out of battleships well, you're yeah, yeah, pretty quiet, true. by the way, Arundas. I mean, he was like, you are right bit. there. You know, I mean, it, oh God, one way you're... or the other. It's it's funny because, like, you know, they've had so many issues with fucking with those, uh, uh, you know, um, high angle weapons. Yeah, like they had it. They had so many issues with high angle weapons put on on Titans, and but now clearly from, it's completely from Titans. Yeah, and now they clearly, you know, clearly, it's it's still an issue with dreads. Like, you know, if you're if you're you know, if dreads are going to be sort of like the the kind of the escalation against uh, against titans, like you know, you have to kind of remove the uh, uh, you know the high angle weaponry from from dreads for for them to be not immen immensely oppressive against subcaps. Like, yeah, it, it's like it's like what if stealth bomber torpedoes were really great against interceptors too <laughs> yeah that is true actually you know like uh, i i i mean i get that you can have a a, a capital kind of platform that is good against subcats that's what carriers are meant one. to be yeah exactly that's what carriers are meant to be right like i wouldn't i wouldn't be against doing something like a subcap hull that's good against supers, as long as it's not ridiculously, ridiculously good on its own. But you know, if you're going to use a capital hull to go, you, you have multiple like capital hulls. Like the have them. I accidentally horrendous to AFK. How do I get back? <laughs> What the fuck's sake? <laughs> there you go. Sorry. I've done it. Sorry, Rendus. That was Dawn, by the way, Rendus. I don't care. 
I was trying to uh, click off of your name, and apparently I clicked the wrong button. Please. And and no, yeah, the heavy bomber because the volume away. adjustment slider looks just like the kick. No, I was but, trying to go down and click off so I could change the cogwheel to go to push to talk since I got to do something. And you accidentally yeah. hit move too. And you, you know, and you just I'm you, tired. you forgot you just forgot to take your finger off the mouse button while you were dragging the mouse. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I'm tired. I, okay. I, I I I haven't done the whole move to some other random location, but I have like you know on a right click menu, kind of like went to click off it, and then actually ac accidentally invited somebody to a random server. I've done that before a few times. <laughs> But I, I kind of get where you're coming from there, Dawn, so don't worry. But yeah, like, I mean, that's the, the, the thing. You don't have a single capital hole and a single super cap hole. Like, you have multiple. So, you know, one is, you know, one prioritize against sub caps, one prioritize against, you know, like, one one prioritize against the, the, the ship, you know, the, the ship size lower than it, and one prioritize the ship, you know, group higher than it. Obviously, when you get to Titans, it's kind of like, well, what the what do you do there? Well, Titan, tit Titans should be the anti-Titan, you know, uh, platform, which it is, you know. So you're right there. Like, I, I, I mean, do you, do you see any any glaring issue with that? With what? With having like you know, with having one up one down type deals. Yeah, one up one down, in terms of. You know, for and against. I don't know. I mean, like I, I can see the, I can see the advantage of it in theory, but actually making it work is going to be a pain in the ass. I mean, yeah, because it takes more than just like a couple of little tweaks to a database, <laughs> right? Which is you know, the and, issue. And, like, right, and oh. and it's not just it's not just okay. Well, this is the ship we want for this role. How do we have to adjust this ship? It's also okay. So how do we? How should we be adjusting this ship? And how do we maybe need to adjust the ships this ship is going to go shooting at? You know, because you, you can't just say okay. Well, this ship is is going to sit here and we're going to evaluate it in a vacuum. That doesn't work. No, you can't evaluate it in a vacuum. That's just one way of just, you know, bringing out changes that are completely broken. Like, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things where, you you know, uh, yeah, what was it? like like the a classic example of, uh, of you know, making a change or, or making a, a sort of a gameplay feature in a vacuum is the whole, um, uh, what is it, super capital uh, or super carrier um, spawning kind of thing, right? Like where you where you can, if you die, you respawn in a host. You know, if you've taken the particular uh, drug, you spawn in the, uh, the super capital that you've uh, selected. Well, you, or you spawn carry. next to it, yeah. You spawn next to it, yeah, and then you can pull a ship out. Like that was clearly done in a vacuum because nobody really sort of they somebody somebody had this what they thought was the bright idea of oh, wouldn't it be cool if and let's see if this will actually you know if if this might actually work well. There's a lot of fucking issues with that, which is the reason why it does not work. Well, I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it's just not, you know, people don't use it, don't use that feature at all in any way, shape or form. I don't think I've ever actually heard <clears throat> any group that has used that feature. We have. We have, we have an entire site for it. You, well, Jesus Christ, really? Yes. yes. What feature? Stipe is on out. Well, you clearly use it a lot because I've never fucking heard of it. <laughs> That doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that it's had to be used a lot, just that we're ready to use it. I mean, I've heard of Reavers more than that. Well, and apparently have, they don't exist. Do you have a supercarrier? I do. Okay. Then you would have seen the early pings asking about getting set up for it. But uh, if you didn't, then you you know. I probably miss Reavers. If you missed those, then you wouldn't have seen any of the later pings to that sig. Yeah, I probably need to reorg. That's probably why. But yeah, we've we've got we've got uh, that we've got that capability. We've got that capability already set up for 
supplying different types of reinforcements for fleet? I mean, I can imagine it being useful for, uh, you know, uh, you know, fast you know, uh, fast re, uh, uh, rearming and like, uh, getting dictors into, uh, back into the fray. Right. It's also really handy for heavy tie dye. So you don't have to undock. Hmm. Mm. No undocking. Well, uh, also one of the things, uh, like, uh, I don't, uh, I'm not sure whether you utilize it, but I definitely have seen it done before is, uh, if you actually, uh, when you're docked up, if you load up the uh, uh, the exterior outside, view, the yeah. exterior view, yeah, it helps a lot yeah. with uh, undocking and tie dye. It does, but it's just easier not have to worry about it at all. That is true, especially since you know you've got to get into a ship anyway. But yeah, I mean, you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to try to sit there with like super carriers full of hacks because. Those are expensive to have in reserve. But, yeah, dictors, um, tackle ships maybe of other types, various T1 ships. Yeah, obviously you can't do it with battleships because you're only getting, like, what, five in a, in a super, but... Yeah, yeah, but it's great. Um, which is which, logic. which makes that which makes that that trailer video for it really special, where the single supercarrier is respawning an entire Raven fleet. Yeah, that is fucking hilarious. That's just like okay, <laughs> to be fair, that's not there were there were two supercarriers in the video at least. Oh. <laughs> ten, ten whole battleships. And listen, that Raven <laughs> fleet that died was only like ten to fifteen ravens in oh, the picture. Also, uh... It's four ravens, because if I remember correctly, raven is one of the battleships that's bigger than 500 M3. There you go. 500,000. The raven is, to me, from a battleship So you'd get nine out of a... Super of cool. A... No, eight. Oh, eight. Yeah, it's you, not, can't, it's you can't you put half like the raven, raven in one, one. and the other half in the other. <laughs> is this... Is this, <laughs> is this like hey, the... What's uh... thinking, okay? That'd be hilarious. Hey. Although half a raven sounds like an Amar ship. Hey, you do. Uh, well, I mean, if it, if you had like if you had like uh, eight ravens and half a Mimitar battleship, like you could just tape it together, like you know. I mean, half half a raven sounds like the old Scorpion model, really. Just flip it. Over. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <sighs> bit of duct tape solved everything. It's fine. Oh, is there anything else going on in Eve right now specifically? No changes or are coming up. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe. Tess, I think that, Tess is uh, still I, busy dying. I think, I think, I think maybe Tess might start to sort of spin up some uh, 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 some raw calls again after like basically. Oh yeah, them up that was like, uh, yeah, that was so good. I kind of doubt it. Spin up some raw calls. Yeah, they, they put out a they put out a ping basically saying that uh, uh, be, due to the significant amount of uh, raw core losses uh, that they've been having kind of recently, that uh, essentially every single raw call and uh, and super carrier and stuff needs to dock up and not make money until I think it was this weekend, something like that. They they were rolling out some new kind of you know uh, defense doctrine or defense measures or whatever. Well, good for them. It's about time yeah. they you know got a brain. We'll, we'll see how those defensive measures shape out. Uh, I was wrong. You could actually fit five ravens yeah, you, in a super carrier. Did you just try and do that? Uh, I thought it was five, ten, math, thought it was ten in fact. I thought it, yeah, I thought it was five million. If they're just over five hundred thousand, then they're just five million for Titan. No, it's five million for either. Yeah. Oh, okay. It used to be two point five for super. It used to be, yeah. Yeah, but because of the the clone bay thingy, they decided yeah. to make it bigger. Ah, that almost makes sense. Which is yeah, why almost. I have such a hard time believing it. Yep, it is. I don't own a super. Okay, <laughs> you just went straight for the big toys. Yeah, yeah, I'm still working up for one of them. Yeah, that's that's why. You know, during all of the gate fights in 1DQ and 3D, you weren't doing anything. 
I mean, if you had a carrier, but like, I don't think you would stoop so low as to be flying a carrier. No, but the the funny part is they lost seven Rurquels in one day, and I, ever since they you know started losing stuff in Delve, trying to live in Delve, I kept offering them, "Hey, do you want some home defense consultation? My services are only like fifty billion, but it'll be worth it." Wow, in the end. that's overpriced. It's overpriced. Billion. We know that. Any services on a consultancy fee based is going to be twelve billion. You can, of course, do more types of consultancy and add it up, right? Uh, I mean, huh. just just thinking, like, sort of, like if you didn't decide to just cheap out and actually got a Komodo, you could probably you, you could have been on those uh those gates. Uh the Komodo didn't exist when I bought my Titan. I mean, it does exist and has existed for a while now, so I don't see yeah, why you I mean, haven't upgraded. Yeah, yeah but, you, you know... Yeah, why haven't you upgraded? Because uh, I don't have the money for it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some punk-ass excuse. It does. And then, hey, I'm not going to go shoot red crosses, okay? And then did you see all the spicy uh Well, that's bickering? good, because they're not red crosses anymore, are they? Uh, that, that should tell you how long ago it was that um, I've been doing PvE stuff. To be fair, I hate was... red crosses too, so... Sorry, what was that, Dawn? I was going to say, there was a ton of bickering on... Uh, Shocking. On Tuesday, because... Um, Apparently, Brave's a little offended that uh, Test uh, are so gung ho about shooting them. They're like, oh. we were your best ally, and now you're all like super best, duper excited best, to shoot us. It's, best allies? It, what come on! It's, like, it's no, not, no, no, no. It, it's not like we told them so. Know, know, we know, told you so. Uh, you, know, you know, I'm I'm sorry, but my corporation brought more people to the fights than Brave did. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm sorry, but like, I think no, they're trying to like fucking... go for like years or something. I'm like, on on the count of three, can we all just say surprise? Ready? No. One, two, three. The surprise, surprise. <laughs> motherfucker. Me and McLeod. Everybody else, you know, <laughs> was. I out. warned you. Jesus, I warned Christ. you it wasn't gonna work. You guys I warned terrible. you it wasn't gonna work. I mean, McLeod did it. Somebody can clip that and you can send it over to Brave. McLeod, didn't Initiative um, also burn more fucking battleships than Brave has ever seen? I think, yes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, I still have Ravens after that, though. <laughs> I still have some Ravens. Does it, anyone need some Ravens? After that. I, love the, was, I love the Raven. Dude, it just, the, the, the amount of Ravens though, we lost, but we still had more. The thing is, though, Brave and Init have one thing in common. Oh? We're not in the IT anymore? Like, they both got kicked out in the first yeah. round. <laughs> Wow! Burn. Sorry, Edit. Wow, that's, that's hey. I, I'm just I'm just saying that, like you know, we we might not be in the you know elite PvP kind of like you know um, frame of mind right now. We're, we're, we're grabbing quite heavily right now. Okay, so the, the the thing is that um the core of the Inid uh, AT team actually went to a different alliance. Yeah, that's fair enough. So, the like most of the people in in this AT team are not the ones that um were are uh, in the AT in like 2016. I mean, it happens, you know. Like, you know, we're just we, we've just come out of a fucking 13 month long war, right? Sure. There's not too much yeah, like whatever. you know small. There's not too much small gang PvP that those people can enjoy when you're in the middle of a meat grinder, right? So I totally get it. But... I mean, I say, you know, end of a thirteen month long war, end of a thirteen month long period of this war, because this war is carrying on. Let's put it this. Let's 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 get it correct. <laughs> yeah, now we... we don't need to focus on the AT anymore. Now we can actually get back to work, finish crabbing, and then get on with the chase. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, you know, we we have kind of been, you know, uh, punishing them in their in, in their backyard. So, 
Yeah, what if, other than the Rurkles, have we gotten anything else really good? Sorry? Have we gotten anything else good out of Test and them in the backfield? I mean, I, we, we've gotten, I mean, Ermelin keeps stars dead. So there's probably. That was very there. nice. That was quite that nice. Was, that was a fun broadcast. I don't know if you guys have been watching those occasionally. Everyone on Fleet seems to enjoy them, so. I just, I just love the fact that they were smugging so much through the war about the fact that they have an Emil and Keep Star, and that, like, oh, you know, if our, if if you if you end up like a, uh, uh, was it, um, you know, getting your stuff basically moved over to Ermelin Station because it's the, uh, uh, what you call it, asset location. safety, asset safety location, like that you won't be able to, won't be able to get get out of uh, out of that station because there's the keep star there. Well, it's not fucking there anymore, guys, so fuck you. <laughs> well, I was wondering uh, if uh, maybe Eric could do an explanation for, especially for the Pappy people, why wh what written off means from a business perspective and why structures that were built during the fat years cannot be compared to structures being lost in the not-so-fat years. No, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. Good call. Oh, big news, guys. Big <laughs> news. More everybody. Huge news. I got in my Rorkel for the first time in like 10 months yesterday. I didn't even know I had a skin that I had. It's very surprised. There you go. We mined some moon rocks. It was, uh, you know. Uh -huh. It was a good a time. Money. It's okay. I wish the rocks had been bigger, but everyone keeps setting these fracks for like two, three weeks. And I'm just like, I get it. We're trying to move things up. But like the next frack also looked tidy. I'm like, no, no, no. You should have been done the big one. It's funny, the because, one. It's, it's funny because in Titan, in, in, Titan, in, uh, um, in Fountain, we, um, we ended up actually purchasing the Athenors from uh, uh uh, what you call it, and um, so we have the the, the moon frags like straight away. <laughs> oh wow! That's yeah, pretty smart. That was one of the things that was pretty cool. Like you know, it was a case of we moved in, and it was like, oh yeah, by the way, we've got about ten, ten, you know, ten moons that are uh, uh, are like you know ready to pop right now. So like, oh shit, okay, fair enough, let's go. Oh yeah, the other big thing, other interesting thing is Brave sold the P Tech Z Keep Star to Sim Squad. And uh, if we decided to let that go abandoned and there were any Titans or anything left in it, we could just have those. Nice. Yeah, you should let that in, go abandoned. And I don't think, I, I don't know if they picked it up or not, but I it's, found that I, I, I mean, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the, uh, worth the punt. Like, I mean, talking about abandoned structures, like, uh, I think it was like uh, maybe a week, two weeks ago, something along those lines. There was a uh, Fortazar that uh, uh, we bought uh, and set abandoned, and that was the one that uh, was flipped uh, during the war to pro to provide a, a staging in uh, uh, YTAC two. If you remember that back in the day, like there were you know some some asshole a small group uh, flipped it to uh, flipped it and sold it to uh, I think it was Pandemic Ward or something like that. But they you know they obviously kept it and then we ended up buying it and we set it abandoned killed it and uh looted uh 300 and something billion out of it something along those lines at all it's fucking ridiculous yeah <laughs> it's like fucking payday it was good i like that tactic it was worth it yeah it's worth it i uh, i mean we've kind of done the same thing with the uh the, I mean, we we bought the keep star there as well, but uh, the keep stars hasn't been there for too long, and it hasn't been really a proper staging for uh, for Pappy in any way, shape, or form, <clears throat> or, any, or any particular large members of Pappy. So, like, uh, I think the consensus is there's probably not enough in there to uh, to warrant basically abandoning it and blowing it up. Yeah, the PI to build a new one is probably worth more. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of sucks now. Especially all the janitors you need. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. We gotta clean up that shit. Cost of those brooms, man. Jesus. 
I'm, I'm just worrying about what's coming next. I say they're going to end scarcity before the end of quarter four, but yeah. that's still like four, three, four months, right? Yeah, it's December. If we're lucky. And from what I, from what makes sense, I think with the, and since they said that they're going to make moon goo and gas compressible, I'm really worried that I think they're going to take the mining capabilities away from the Rorqual. I expect and they would. Because then it can, they want it to be fleet support. So if Moongu, because the biggest complaint that people always had was that Moongu is uncompressible. It's too big to move. It's too inconvenient. And now that they brought up gas too, it's like, okay, well, everything that's a, a mineable resource is really inconvenient for a barge to do. That's why nobody does it. So they, I'm thinking that they're going to think, hey, let's go ahead and make Moongu or make Moongu compressible, and then that'll give the Rorquals a use, but remove anything beyond regular minor twos on the things. The, so okay, so we're I, I don't know. I, I don't know whether we want to go into the reasons why like uh uh Rorquals are kind of useless in defending, you know, mining barges. So you guys know things. what I mean, Moon Ore, yes. Yeah, yeah. But like it's 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 just one of those things that kind of constantly irks me that like clearly the the panic module was designed it, you know to to help defend uh, and protect uh, you know barges as well because the idea right. is that it will it, it it sends out that pulse that protects the uh, that protects the rock wall to any any barges and stuff within a particular vicinity right. Except right. the thing is, those barges are not worth like you know protecting if you know you, your raw call ends up basically being killed in five minutes because you hit the panic too fucking early. That's also true. You have to know how to use it. Big yeah. shock. So it's it's always been used in the like the panic has always been used like since it's in, since it came into uh, into the uh, in, into New Eden that to protect. Not the barges, but to protect the the roll call. First, yeah, almost. but mm -hmm. let's face it: since since the roll call changes went in, people really haven't been using barges all that much. Well, yeah, there wasn't really any reason to use barges when you know, right? Essentially, what was it like a like at the time a single excavator was Sing the equivalent a single, of a barge? Yeah, a single yeah. excavator mined as much as a fully boosted maxed out hulk. At first, right. it was ridiculous. But I don't, I don't see any problem with them taking the mining capabilities off of the rock wall, as long as you know you have a way to get your barges or your exhumers really from place to place. Yeah. And I, I just suspect that after what, after the community response that we've seen to the Blops conduit bridging, I expect the rock wall to do the same thing for exhumers. That, that would be, would be interesting. Too. Right, because the thing that keeps the thing that keeps exhumers etc from really being used in moon mining isn't the fact that you can't compress the goo. That's an inconvenience and an annoyance, but that's not really the thing that keeps them from being used. The thing that keeps them from being used is when you've got a whole bunch of moons that come out you need to be able to go from system to system to system and gating a bunch of ships that can't fight back is just not going to happen. No, it really isn't. So, and, the yeah. other th and, and I, I know that there's going to be people who are like, well, barges can fit into uh, into Rorqual kind of... But then uh, you've got to move SMAs. the pilots. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and sure, you could, in theory, throw the pilots in interceptors, but then you've got to, well, you know... But then you've got to put interceptors somewhere, which means you're going to well, have yeah. to have, like, a carrier there as well. Well, you put the interceptors, or, in, the, you put the interceptors in the Athenor while you're mining, but, I mean, it's just... Or you have a clone vat bay on the uh, on the. Uh, that's only that, one jump, that, though. That's only one jump, and then you have. Right, it's just it's down. just so much of a pain in the ass that why would anybody bother? You just get yourself more rock walls. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> more rock walls is the answer. I mean, well, more rock walls. More rock walls was also the answer to CCP's problem, which was you know, as as they kind of. Which also all was admitted, all but admitted openly at the time was yeah we want you guys to buy to to feel like you need to fly rock walls so you know you buy plex to get the skill injection going 
Yeah, because they because because they did at exactly the same time as like voting yeah. the living shit out of raw calls into something, you know, because they they were used very very sparingly for uh, for compression and for boosts from a pod right. that po before that point when they you know when they buffed them to the point where people you know to the point where well not where they are now but like where where they you know well, they where had they were been. at their strength at their, right at the fucking worst yeah it, they they at exactly the same time nerfed the absolute fuck out of carriers as well so you know your your ability to make money in carriers suddenly dropped dropped like a fucking stone and suddenly it was the the new hotness was to to have oracle so people you know People extracted all of their carrier skills and you know injected all uh, injected raw call skills like that, that was the thing that was what people were doing. Hell, they extracted exuberance and barge skills because you don't need those to fly a war call. Yeah, that's true. That is some funny issue that I run into uh, right now because some of us are like, okay, we really don't need to take fifteen oracles with us, like. You know, like I'll take for ice mining. I just bring barges because I don't want to buy ice excavators. They're expensive. And I, I know that CCP would say that, like, you know, their their intention was never to, you know, to to. Um, yes, it to was. Yes, it was. Push people Bullshit. to uh, to to use the injectors and the extractors uh, in order to move XP from one to the other. But like. I mean, it's not like it's fourth or fifth or sixth order effect, like order effects from what you, the changes is literally like. No, it, it's, it's literally fun. like first or second, like Jesus Christ. The, the if you can't figure those out. have not they, wanted they, to they say all, yet is pump and dump. And they, they, they didn't want to say your money pump and could dump you now work at, the at the, People were saying this at the time, and the CCP responses were, oh gosh, really? We hadn't thought of that in the most sarcastic possible ways possible it just no they they do exactly what they were doing absolutely yeah but to the do. that was the, the thing is to this day and, and they weren't they weren't ever. hiding it to this day they still deny it though that's that's the they do thing. deny and it. again and all the all the rage that ccp got from the summer of rage and the magazine and all that greed is good stuff well, if if there was ever a reason to be really angry at ccp it's about what they did with the raw calls I said that for years. Everybody's been everybody's been upfront about that, though. You know, it's one of those. Yeah, no, of course this was a stupid fucking thing that they did, but they did it. And once they did it, there's no way we weren't going to respond to it. No. So it's, it's not basically so much what that you're they... saying. Arendus is saying this is the Imperium looking at something, uh, pointing at it, and saying. CCP, is this an ab uh, abusive thing and an exploit? No, and CCP no, what, what, saying, no, no, okay, it's a feature, fine, we'll go no, for it. No, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is that nuclear weapons are bad, but if the other side's got nukes, you want nukes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was nothing. Nullsec is, Nullsec is just too hyper-competitive for anybody, for any group to risk going, that's bad for the game, we won't do that. But but yeah, I was about to say that's that's the only other kind of point that you do, like unless you sort of like, oh, but that's too much effort. What we really should do is we should just complain to CCP that this is bad, which is why you know people, well, <laughs> yeah. people, pe pe yeah, yeah, well, like you you did it, you definitely did for raw calls, and you basically said this is this is a bad thing. It's going to result in this, and CCP said, oh well, if they if it does, then we're going to change it, and they. Like I mean, the the changes kind of, was, so they sort were, of changed it maybe a little. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this one ship, this one ship will only do twice what the best mining subcap can do. And so people took the well, the the <laughs> oh, and it'll the, still be able to jump around everywhere. Yeah, and and people took what like the the five or ten percent of what they made in the interim, and went, oh, okay, I'll just I'll just <laughs> use that to make a new roll call pilot, a new roll call. Yeah. And now I'm good. <laughs> it's just dumb. These changes are coming. Quick, skill up a new alt. Oh, fuck. Uh, I, I mean, where I was going with the whole, you know, I'll complain to CCP about it was, you know, with, with people complaining about, like, Delve, uh, you know, being a runaway success. And it was like, uh, guys... You do realize Delve is not like some kind of special snowflake place. Like you can kind of do pretty much what Delve is 
in other oh areas. God, if, if you just had, had to movie, fucking get off your ass. If to people do had it, like, done that in like fucking branch, forget it. Oof. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is that you actually need to invest in things like infrastructure and organization. And if you building. want to reap the benefits, you got to do the work. Yes, that's what we're saying. What? What? what why? That's unfair. That's gurgoons. They can't get all the benefits. So, sorry, that's not passive enough for my liking. For yeah, my... bring back passive moon mining, please. <laughs> uh, anyway, I can see some benefits to passive. I gotta I, go. I can... oh, all right, I run as... go. take care. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Oh, I mean... I'll catch you guys later. I mean, I, I like I I appreciate the the, the the sort of like the the necessity of passive moon mining to some degree. No, nope. I don't like the I don't like it. I don't like it being kind of uninterdictable to some degree. Like I I have my own version of what you could potentially do for passive moon mining, but like I don't think it should be anywhere near as profitable as it used to be. But an organization doesn't need okay. An organization doesn't uh, on that level does not need resources it needs cash we've seen this in this entire war that was the main thing they need a cash cow that they can milk and that's really about taxation and it's about mm, getting paid as an organization for the services that you provide to your people we need a tax system that actually works in eve online we don't need passive moons back that's not what we need i disagree oh, i think i touched a nerve there with caleb <laughs> of course, you disagree, uh, uh, South Brazil. We we know that, but the point the point is that we saw how it's really when it when when push comes to shove, the really important thing to have at the top level of an organization is cash because that can easily be converted into all the other things you need. That's about the circulation of cash money for raw materials in the organization and the whole imports export stuff. We don't. The Imperium does not need Moon Goo. The Imperium needs ISK. The Imperium members and the corporations need Moon Goo. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm yeah. not sure because I, I kind of feel like you know the 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 ISK that is you know uh, circulated inside of say Imperium War and Goon Swarm. You know, in terms of you know pilot loses ship, uh, you know gets reimbursed by by the Alliance. Ends up taking that money, get you know, purchases a uh, you know stuff on the market, and you know a section of that money gets you know put into uh, other other Imperium members' wallets as well as into the uh, Imperium's coffers. Like you know that a lot of that is is recirculated constantly. Like obviously you'll get like you know siphon stuff siphoning off by a you know uh, uh, like you know actual in-game entity taxes that kind of stuff. But like. You know, you, you you do have a fair amount of that uh, that is recirculating into inside of the uh, the organizations. Or and then cash then, needs or to circulate. You could... uh, the, the the cash needs to go to the top, and this is where all the stages in between needs to be pr priceable and and taxable in a meaningful way. It it doesn't help Eve Online that CCP launched structures with the most ridiculous design on industry and service slots. The way that you price this stuff is just so broken that it's not even funny. I mean, yeah, there is there is some broken stuff in it when it comes to industry still, and like you know, I hate to I hate to want to use the the term, but uh, Feldistry definitely f didn't fix stuff; it just broke more stuff. Well, but the horrible uh, percent of a percent uh, crap design on how you price for slot and services in in structures is like it's ridiculous. This is not the type of stuff we need. We need uh, all these pipes throughout the system, everywhere from POCOs to uh, uh, moon structures to keep stars with markets, all of these features, the services they provide need to be something that you can price control effectively and on scale with things like ACLs. So they just start making you money and it all trickles up and it it lands in the mm -hmm. right hands organizational wise but only cash the actual raw materials and 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 tools need to move around and circulate all the fucking time i mean they kind of do it's just no, there's nowhere near the sort of the, the scale and the, the control there like the, you know you still get kind of a degree of taxation when you're using you know uh well you, you can have taxation 
but the the, the, the taxation um, mechanics are so bad. Like the fact that you you can't put a yeah no, corporate I, I, tax I, I, or an alliance tax or I a sovereignty tax on on all brackets. You can get it from bounties, but that's not the type of of stuff that you need. And then you can price all the services, but you can't tax those. So when a corporation has a a price on a structure they own, right? The sovereign holder does not have the ability to tax that. That's just this is silly. This is all the money moving through the system needs to be something that can potentially be taxed by a sub holder, an alliance holder, and a corporation. It's just it's just required for this game to work. I mean, you're not going to get any like uh, I'm I'm not going to fight you on that because I kind of do feel the same. Um, I do think it's I do think it's at the moment we're kind of in the sort of like a halfway house. But seriously, can you imagine how... Well, it's a pretty bad halfway house right now. Are, are you telling me that CCP actually dropped new features and then forgot to finish them? <sighs> no, that would, <laughs> never that, would never, that would never happen, Soth. Secure never <laughs> happen. I mean, I would be truly shocked to find that out. Yeah, shocked and appalled I mean, is what I we mean, are. If any, anybody in chat, like, if you, if you, you know, X to doubt on that one, like, I don't know, but, like, I kind of feel the sort of... Some, uh, something along those lines well I and kinda... uh, just be happy that we got actual contracts on structures because ctp was going to delay that <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think that that would be an issue and the cry from all the null in the in, in, in the focus group was like are you crazy without contracts this shit is not going to work at all mm -mm. But no, it's just if you if you remember what happened in high seg with structures with the whole offshoring and the competitive pricing and all that stuff, even mm -hmm. though of course it's broken, but there was a lot of interesting things happening. And if we got something like a proper a taxation design, very similar things would happen with the way that organizations in null can operate. And of course, it would. I know this. This is where I admit something that then. Mm, gives all the pappy people a reason to cry to CCP because a good set, a taxation system and a good service uh, pricing system would completely kill rental. Completely kill it. All right, That's we're just talking one. about taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the American and the want, trigger. Do you, do you need to get into more meaty subjects? <laughs> Oh, he's getting out his yellow flag took, with the took, snake I on took, it. I took my, you know, my power nap here, just like this while he talked about taxes. What? No, I, I actually, in real life, I love, I love to discuss taxation and policy and stuff like that. But uh, hey, but not in your downtime. This is actually, you know, my favorite day, day and time of the week. This is it, man. That's a good time. Mm -hmm. We get to discuss whatever the fuck we want. That's right. God damn it. <laughs> we think it's not to say fucking anything. This is, this I'm, is... not, I'm not allowed. I was just told that taxation <laughs> topic is boring and we're not going to talk about the ecosystem and infrastructure anymore. Well, taxation is kind of boring. But I did need a little bit of we're talking, power nap. We're, talk, we're talking about the essential fuel of, uh, of, of you know, powerful uh, multi-stellar alliances. Is this some sort of uh, OPSEC thing that we're not allowed to talk about what it is that the Imperium does different than any other organization in the game? I think you mean pretty that we actually we organize shit outside yes, exactly. of the game and <laughs> actually do tax our shit because, you know, we're not idiots. Don't tell them how we win. Like, honestly, Jesus. Let them work it out themselves. Yeah, feudalism is fine. It works. I mean, we have told them how many times before, and uh, they just hand-waved it off. Yeah, because they it, were it, more interested in the te for, in the, the the ways and means of uh, isk generation that they prefer. So, are you saying that a PAP system that's based on C kill is a bad idea? <laughs> yes. 
hey, I'm I'm paying my rent uh with my paps, okay. Oh, which type of paps are you getting? The the uh, the, the uh, cash paps for your bad posting or the the proper paps for activity? The 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 strategic paps for being an angry German. Wow, you must be so fucking rich on that. Oh oh yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm swinging swimming in paps, man. See, if only you could like sell those things like they do in Pappy. Did you see Tess does their Wait, paps by like minutes and fleet? Did, I'm like I just want to point out they have pap in their name, but they don't have any paps. Isn't it also by some way, horrible beer? I, I, I have to interrupt here. It is uh, Patricia Tolman's uh, birthday today. I just was notified of that. So for all you Babylon 5 fans and everything else she's been in. You know who's, who, uh, who else had a birthday this week? Who? Only the, uh, the, the most loved man in all of existence. Keanu Reeves? Mm-hmm. Did you actually say Keanu Reeves? Yeah. He's the most loved man. Yeah, him and Grohl and uh, Bon Jovi, right? I mean, yep. he, he is a pretty cool guy. I mean, in America, we didn't even know Keanu Reeves was still alive. I mean, really? How else are you going to do a new Matrix movie without him? Uh, the, I think the best way of being able to uh, say congratulations, Keanu Reeves, on, on your birthday is Happy birthday, John. Whatever you guys need. Keanu Reeves, the most loved man. I don't know. And when in doubt, send him puppies. Because for whatever reason, most of his characters in, in whichever film and stuff like that that he's in are typically called John. I don't know why. More often than not. I wouldn't say, like, I'm not going to say like all. Because like clearly not all, but like more often than not. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you guys were gonna channel maybe some Bill and Ted's excellent adventure or something. You know. Well, the John Hartley movie. That's one of that. Hey, that's a that's a classic. Bill and Ted? I don't yeah, think I've ever a seen it. Nerd classic. It's amazing. Yeah. Nerd? Classic? I thought more it yeah, was like it, maybe a stoner classic or something. I don't know. No, that's uh, Cheech and Chong and uh, what's his name, Harry and Kumar or whatever. That's uh, that's stoner movies. I love I love Harry and Kumar. Uh, Pineapple Express is a is a stoner movie. Clearly, and it's fucking great. It's the same. No, uh, what Bill and Ted is like mm, America's best attempt. Of uh, doing something very Doctor Who like. Is that only because I've never ha- seen is that only be- is that only because they have a, uh, a time traveling uh, like phone booth? Is that the only reason why you say that? Well, yeah, and because it's time travel, and well, if you're going to do time travel that way, it, it you might as well a- do it from a phone booth. <laughs> well, it's just because the other the other really good time travel movie from America. Um, they kind of overdid it, right? They blinged it too much. It's like now it's not, it's not corny anymore. Now it's just flashy and too fucking cool. If you make your time machine a DeLorean, you're no longer in the same fucking genre. I thought you were gonna go with uh, Star Trek: The Voyage Home. Right. Wasn't the DeLorean like a complete bust when it came out? Like no one bought it. No, it's it's a terrible car. <laughs> Well, it's actually yeah. not, you know, it was not a bad car at that time, but the people that did that thing was like, if you had issues with the way Tesla was doing his business, that dude was an actual literal criminal. It'd be the equivalent of trying to buy a car off uh, uh, John McAvee. Pretty, pretty much that, exactly like that. Like, this car's legit, right? It's it's not just going to break down, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not going to break down. Okay. It doesn't have, like, a body in the trunk or something like that. Um, no? Well, I can I can highly uh, <laughs> Definitely recommend... Definitely don't check, though. 
Well, yeah. uh, anyone that, that actually wants to know about this story, I, I can warmly uh, recommend the actual documentary because I did not know most of that story. I know some of you Americans might actually have followed it when it happened, but it was basically news to me. And it's just funny because this guy could actually build cars and he came from a pretty good background and the car was decent at the time. Um, but production was shit and he decided to put it in 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 war uh written fucking ireland northern ireland it's like why are you putting a factory in northern ireland doing the troubles it's like this is just dumb i mean if we're talking about like documentaries i have one for you uh it's linkedin staff um it is a documentary about um the uh, a speech they had prepared uh, in case the moon landing would have gone wrong, like in case the, the astronauts uh, couldn't leave the moon and had to stay there. Wow, dark. Yeah. It is a pretty good documentary, though, and they they actually have... Um, they, they actually had an uh, AI go go through like all of uh you know all of the the tv stuff and um and and actually have nixon d deliver that speech that they wrote that's pretty off the that's pretty ridiculous so yeah if someone could link that because i can't Oh, okay, I'll do that. Twitch always gets mad when I link stuff. There you go, boys and girls. That's the link to uh, that full film that uh, uh, Software Civil was talking about. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes or something. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, I kind of wonder whether they use some of that... Uh, or at least, you know, used some of that in terms of the uh, um, the research for uh, writing The Martian, maybe? Uh, I don't remember when they actually released uh, that. Because it is pretty recent that they actually released the, the, the speech itself. Oh, okay. Maybe not then. Like I was just kind of wondering because uh, it would be. It would I mean, be it good could be. It'd be good material to 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 go through for uh, for research for writing, you know, certain aspects of uh, of the Martian, right? Like because obviously the Martian was a, a a book before it was turned into a feature film. Well, it was a short story, uh, and then it um, kind of gained more traction than the author expected. Huh. Uh, fun fact, he actually signed the book deal the same week he signed the movie deal. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because uh, he was um, self-publishing the book on his website. And then when it blew up, um, well, he kind of had to get a book deal as well. Oh, um, today I learned. It seems. I thought the book was just like done way before the film. Well, I mean, the book was out there. You could read it for free on his website, but you couldn't buy it like as a paperback because he didn't have a publisher for it. Well, I mean, whatever he did it was it clearly works. He got a fucking movie deal out of it. At the same time, he got a book deal out of it. So that's that. You know, self-promotion without, like, you know, putting a a paywall in front of it clearly worked. By the way, um, his newer books are also pretty good. I'd have to check them out. Yeah. Anyone have any Labor Day plans, by the way? Hmm. See, I don't think... For the Americans in the room. Okay, yeah, Mary. I was going to say, like, what I day? don't think Britain has Labor Day. Which what's Labor? Which it's, which day it's, is Labor it's Day? First, first of May. The, it's the first Monday of every se September. What? No. The first yes, of May. Of May. 
Yeah. It's the 1st of May everywhere except in the US. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> then again, it's they don't really have different. labor protection or, 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 or labor, labor benefits, so it's fine. Now, Freedom I, to work. <laughs> no, I saw the, um, the history for Labor Day is that it came about because uh, he, during the, uh, Henry Ford's factories, they uh, they had people like busting up, trying to bust up the unions. They were trying to you know get labor, you know actual labor rights and things like that set up for and negotiating better ter- working environments. And they actually like went out and like were like beating them up. And I believe that's in the history, but someone's gonna have to verify. I don't know. I've never really looked up like what's Labor Day. I'm not I touching this poop. Week. I'm not touching this poop. Can we get this poop out of the way? How is this poop? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, all I'm doing is working because I don't get any days off. I'm working. Aww. Aww. Someone break out the violins. I'm just Listen, I, only say... get New- I get Christmas and Thanksgiving, and every other holiday I just get as an extra vacation day to use somewhere else in the year. So in the U.S., Amazon only has three holidays, four holidays. Um, okay, just a, just out of curiosity, what do you actually do on Labor Day in America? Like, is there well, any like actual assemblies and political speeches and? discussions no. or anything like that no. no we usually just spend time with the so family it's just a, it's and grill just a vacation and day so yeah well, no. right it's, so, so it's, it's not really labor day at all <laughs> it's it's considered it's an excuse for another holiday you day. should yeah. you should come over to like hamburg or berlin on the first of may it's fun for the whole family the um pretty much it's considered the end of summer in the u.s so um basically it is picnicking you know, it's the last day public pools will be open generally for the year. Um, for the know. for the places that snow. Florida's so, open all the time. Yeah, Florida's open all the time. But yeah. But yes, the um but up in the north, I mean that's kind of the way it is. And like my parents will close their pool after this weekend. Um, you know, the leaves will start falling in a couple of weeks, you know. It's just the end of summer. Of course, Amazon only has four holidays. Christmas Day, Thanksgiving Day, New Year's Day, and July 4th. And, I and Soth, I know. honestly, I don't think you should invite the Americans to come and see Labor Day in Europe. They would call the National God. We don't have a National God. So what, ha- so, so, what happens, so, so what happens in Germany with Labor Day then? Or, you know, May Day? Um... Like speeches, that's putting it mildly. Yeah, uh, marches. I hope you don't have marches. We do have marches. Ritualistic book burnings, maybe. <laughs> um, if if you call our expensive cars books, then yeah. <laughs> oh. So uh, the the far left is some um, getting very uppity uh, at, around that time. Probably because you're stealing all of that shit. And have I seen G20 <laughs> in Hamburg? Um, I lived in Hamburg during G20. So, yes, I did see it. It, it was noticeable. Uh, sorry, I had to ask those few things. <laughs> but in, 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 in uh, addendum to this, right, um, when all that flag waving and screaming and shouting and burning political effigies and whatnot when all of that starts like slowing down and teetering out and people are are kind of getting a little bit tipsy then the rest of the evening is party and drinking usually party drinking and going to just uh like uh nightclubs and stuff right yeah, because you start you start in in the afternoon. At least we do, um, and then you go to the park where you do all the listen to all the political speeches and hang <laughs> do out with all friends the and, do and, all and the listen to all the do all the drugs listen to all the speeches. No, no, because because it's 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 usually well, it's May, so it's it's the start of summer, right? So it's pretty nice weather usually, um, and then you start having beer in the park and screaming uh, 
eat the rich and all that stuff. And then you get more and more tipsy. And then when it gets around evening time, it's like out and uh, partying. And uh, Germans know how to party. Oh, yeah. Berlin like next year, McLeod. Berlin next year. That'd be insane. My it's, cats are mad. It's, I moved them around. It's it's planned. Goon meet in oh. Berlin next year. Oh, in that case, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Still trying to find someone that actually lives in Berlin who can like give advice on where to stay and shit like that. Do you have a uh, uh, Airbnb? Nah, I was more thinking um doing something uh similar to what we do for Amsterdam every year, which is some um, like rent an entire house. Wow, well, I mean, that's that's what I'm thinking. Airbnb is like just rent an entire house on Airbnb for a while. And even then, it's not going to be that expensive. It's just what one night. It's like fine, get a hotel. We're getting a. Hotel. What do you mean one night? One night. <laughs> I, I mean, you gotta I, have you gotta have the recovery days. Yeah, I will definitely have the... come up on Thursday. Right. So you got the whole Friday, and then drive home on Monday. Because yeah, I'm not driving on Sunday. That's true. So you're going to do the full uh, extended weekend? And yeah. Still, that's not that expensive for a hotel, is it? Uh, you, hotel is you... also not that nice. Um, when when you have a whole house with like twenty or thirty goons, um, you know the party doesn't end. The party don't start till I walk in. Fucking Anyone name that Elemental, song? Elem LMFAO. Clearly. That was from Kesha. Oh, no, of course. Of course. Listen, I, I love Kesha. Else. My wife does too. I don't care what anybody says. She is a good singer, and I love her songs just because they're a lot of fun. Um, she has some, re her latest album was really good, actually, too. And I'll fight anybody who wants to uh, <laughs> diss Kesha. Them fighting words. Just saying. I don't know. She came. She came out like she started like being popular when I was in college, and it, her uh, TikTok, her original hit, has been my alarm clock sound since I was twenty-two, so about ten years. So just so this like is... I paid for it, so I'm gonna fucking use it. So this is controversial. I actually don't mind Nicki Minaj. I don't mind bad. some of her songs. I don't mind some <laughs> of her stuff. I don't like a lot of her songs, but some of them I do enjoy just because they're, you know, catchy I can, and hip. I, 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 I can appreciate I can appreciate Nicki Minaj just as much as I can appreciate Periphery. I couldn't name one Nicki. Are we Minaj are we doing bad taste now? Song. Because I, I can I can join I in on that if you want. I mean, if you're gonna say periphery's bad taste, then you can get fucked. Well, I'm I I, I am unironically quite fond of Rick Astley and Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Are you stuck in like the nineties? I mean, I'm I'm liking oh, okay. what I'm hearing because it's kind of like it's, the, it's the, the of... thing is though. At least Rick Astley did sing his own songs. There you go. So did so did Vanilla Ice. I'm not talking about Millie Vanilli. I'm talking yeah. about Vanilla Ice. All right. <laughs> I'm just going, you know, Billy Joel, Boston, Chicago. That's none of those are admitting. No, 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 none no, of no. those is none of those is 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 none of those are cringy. Those are, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you have to admit that you have a, a degree of bad taste. Like the 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 basically it's it's the it's the artists that you uh that that you know you have a tendency to sort of like and listen to, but like you generally don't tend to want to say that like you like them like I, I typically probably wouldn't normally say that i like Nicki minaj but like you know 
Well, if it's the moment, man, that it's route, in the moment. Then uh, I like My Chemical Romance. So I like some of their stuff, not all of their stuff. Like, uh, yeah. Wow, that's 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 not that, that's I, not. I don't think liking the same fucking... is a hot take. Come on, <laughs> he's a fucking musical genius. That that's that's at least Eric, you know Eric, you're muted. Uh, I don't know. You, you, you missed. You missed it, guys. Uh, you, I'll tell you you're guys. gonna have to say it again because, like, so that, that I, is I a, say, that is a sort of like a that is an embarrassing sort of th situation. I so, may yeah. or may not have freshman year in college serenaded the most goody goody girl that we met in our freshman class, uh, who was named Nicole with uh, "Darling Nikki" by Prince. She was she's a bit embarrassed. I don't think she ever heard that song. But that's the <laughs> that that's the situation that's embarrassing. That's liking I, I, liking I, I, Prince is not embarrassing. No, Look, not really. I, I, I'm 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 willing to way, meet Eric halfway on this one. Um, I, I, someone's I, saying he can do a decent ABBA as well. Um, ABBA's good. I hear they are bringing out a new album. Yeah, yes, I'm, it's going to be. Oh glorious. yeah, you were wanting to talk about that all week this week. Caleb's like I've... a new ABBA, new ABBA, new ABBA. By the way, I'm I mean, he is slightly, con slightly I'm, controversial. I'm not exactly a massive fan of ABBA in any way, shape, or form. And, and I, uh, massive fan is a massive overstatement. As I well. will like, say that Prince's... Um, I really don't like them. <laughs> uh, Super Bowl uh, halftime show was probably the best halftime show I've ever seen in uh, the Super Bowl. Everything he wasn't even in the shoot. Super Bowl. He was uh, actually... Was, uh, it was in Tampa, and it was pouring down rain... And they thought he'd get electrocuted or somebody would fall on stage or whatever. And he didn't care. He said, you know, we're here to do a show and we're going to do the halftime show. And he went out and did it in the pouring rain. It's well, a, I mean, good on him. Like, you know, yeah. the last thing you want to just like, oh, no, I can't do it because it's raining a bit. I mean, it's a bit wet. Like, fuck you. Go out and do it. Like, people. Well, it wasn't just raining. And it was standing like in the rain. A yeah, but like. Torrential downpour. But the, but the but the thing is, the fans are out there, fucking, you know, like dealing with the same shit. Like, well, you know? they came to watch football, not Prince. Well, ah, fuck it. Like, you know, you know, it's a Super Bowl. But Either he was way. a consummate entertainer. By the way, what is it? Uh... And and he was better at uh, better at basketball than um, uh, was he? What's his face? Um, he wasn't great. At, he wasn't great at basketball, but he he beat um, uh, uh, Charlie Murphy <laughs> at basketball. Okay. I mean, if you don't know about the Charlie Murphy kind of like a uh, incident with Prince, then like you you definitely need to. I do not. It up. I do not. I've oh, you, you need. You... <laughs> I'll 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 find it and link it. It's fucking okay. hilarious. Definitely do that. So it's, it's it's a classic Charlie Murphy um, uh, anecdote from uh, uh, from the Chappelle Show. It's amazing. My favorite thing is when Prince remade the uh, Dave Chappelle uh, spoof of his cover. And like Prince was like, how am I going to, or no, and Dave Chappelle was like, how am I going to get mad at the guy? He was making fun of me, making fun of him. <laughs> and it, for those who don't know, it's Dave Chappelle dressed up as Prince, quote unquote, and then I was like serving pancakes to somebody. It was, it was weird. I don't remember the full context. I haven't seen it in a while, but uh, Prince remade that for one of the covers of his album. Mm, he also, uh, <laughs> he also, uh. Wrote a lot of songs uh, under a pen name. Prince did. Yeah, like Manic Monday. Was Prince not? Was Prince not a good enough? Uh, no, he just didn't want to have people know that that they were his. Like Manic Monday. Uh, that that's written or, by Prince. Also, by the way, the Charlie Murphy story is actually a true story. Um, oh wow! Prince Prince actually confirmed that it was entirely accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
fucking amazing. Anyway, let's not sideline that, but like it's a good, it's definitely a good video to watch after the show. It definitely had something to do with pancakes as well, by the way. So I think that's probably where that came from as well, Dawn. You know, I have to ah, mention okay. pancakes because, you know, the video at the beginning of the show, you know, we got Pancake Cat and all that. Those pancakes just look so good. I'm I'm tempted to, that, you know, one of the days here on this holiday weekend, I mean, we're going to have to have breakfast for dinner. Pancakes. It has to happen. I, I've never had, I, I've never seen, but like, uh, I've never, I've never seen the 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 reason to have like um, bacon with pancakes. Really? I, I think maybe it's just one mean? of those things that I've never tried, so I don't see the kind of thing because like I don't Wait, see the sweet what it, savory hold on, kind hold of on. aspect of it. Like, hold on, but... let's talk here. Do you mean like bacon in the pancakes, or just like a side of bacon with pancakes? Like on the pancakes, not maybe not in the pancakes, but on the pancakes, like as a as a part of the whole thing well it's kind of like how you'd eat it anyways i mean if you if you're having a normal american breakfast you take a bite of pancakes with syrup and butter and then you take grab a stick of bacon that's crispy and crunch it off and eat them together so what's the difference about them being on top i'm sorry but none of that is normal uh well with mean... 330 million people say it is normal so <laughs> yes then what I do mean... they look like <laughs> I mean, you could say the same. Abnormal well. people. You could say we the same well. with people who are addicted to like heroin as well. Like, I, you know, it's normal. You know, when, like, you know, all of these people doing it says it's normal. Like, so I'm gonna it's say, not meant to be. Uh, I'm gonna be even stranger, right? So if I have pancakes, okay. and of course there is sausage and bacon because it should be with every American breakfast. Um, I can't have them on the same plate. I don't understand those people who put like the butter on their pancakes, the syrup on their pancakes. And then they have the bacon and the sausage in the syrup too, and they're just I, cutting I'm it up there. and eat them all together. I, I can't, I'm with I can't I'm with it. you there. Can't do it. Yeah. Like I don't. Now don't get me wrong here. Like sweet bacon is good because like you can candy bacon yeah. with syrup or with brown sugar. You can watch. I just don't like it being wet. I think is the problem for me. C come again. You you do what? You candy your bacon? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Have you okay? Oh, no, listen here, it. Caleb. Listen, listen. Hold on. One more <laughs> okay. thing before you do that. Chocolate covered bacon. That that's a weird one. Guys. No, put, hold on, hold on. Let me, bacon <laughs> let me let me explain how you candy bacon. It's very easy. You take oh. normal you normal pieces of bacon. Pork belly works even better because they're a little bit thicker cuts. But regular bacon, put it on a like a metal rack, um, uh, like a, a wire rack, so we it's. It can let air underneath it as well. And then you put salt, pepper, uh, and then uh, brown sugar. Uh, do You can do light brown or dark brown, preferably light brown, because it's going to be less it's intense. It's going to be dark brown after a while anyway. Yeah, and then you bake it in the oven till the, till the uh, sugar has melted and then, like, caramelized on top of the bacon, and it dries out. And then you can you can either eat it fresh out of the oven like that, or you can just let it sit and add it to a sandwich or something, and it is, you've got this, you know, bacony, uh, savory flavor, it's a little sweet, because a lot of the sugar does fall off as it's candying, um, just because of physics, but, and then the pepper's in there, Science. you can add, you can add cayenne pepper if you want it to be a little sweet and spicy, if you, you want to add, you can make a bunch of different flavors with it. Some people so use syrup, so if you want to have a flavored syrup with it, you could do that too. See, and I, it is I, amazing. I've once or twice, like, very lightly brushed, like, bacon with, like, uh, um, maple syrup. Like, very lightly. Yep. Because that but that's about be, it. Yeah. That's well, candy. For, for, for all I, of I would people, recommend... I do for recommend... For all of the people questioning what the fuck is, fuck is wrong with America, <laughs> that is your answer. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's <laughs> exactly the answer right there. When I saw that whole stick thing, I think it was on The Tonight Show with uh, rub some bacon on it, I thought it was supposed to be comedy. I, I was not informed that this was like a public service message. I'm surprised you haven't. I mean, no, I'm not going to say this because it probably like uh, I, I was going to say I'm surprised you haven't deep fried bacon. Um, 
because that is that would be that would be very American. We have deep fried bacon, <laughs> but the, but this is what I was thinking. I was like, you know, surprised you haven't done it yet. Oh no, you have done it. That's the thing. I, I mean, deep frying bacon doesn't really make it worse because it's already a shit ton of fat. So it, it doesn't really itself. matter if well, you deep fry. I'm just it. I'm just trying to think of like the most American thing that you could do with bacon. Like, or deep frying everything is not the most American thing. Okay. So, what's the most American thing then? The most American thing is adding shit tons of cheese to things that don't need shit tons of cheese. Like what? Oh, okay. Or sugar. And then wrapping it in bacon. Or apparently yes. sugar. Glaze hold it, hold everything it, in it. sugar. Hold it. I gotta, I gotta find it. So make, let's make some sort of crazy fucking American gobstopper that's just basically like bacon, like candied bacon wrapped with. Like cheese that's wrapped with candied bacon, that's wrapped with cheese that's wrapped with candied bacon. Like, no, no, here fuck? I got, I got one for you. Cheese stuffed jalapeno poppers wrapped in candied bacon. So and then battered, me... then battered and deep fried, and that actually is food. So what that, that is the me, most American thing. What you're telling me is that um, Epic Meal Time was a documentary. No, but you know. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this with you because I saw this on the show once. You guys aware of who Paula Dean is? She is a Southern okay. cooking person on but, uh, TV. Okay, all right. So, so, that was you know, so she takes a hot dog. She takes a hot dog, wraps it in bacon, cooks it, puts it on a bun, then puts a you know like a nacho cheese sauce on it. And then um, also on that, she will put uh, um, um, coleslaw. Okay? So there you go. You got cheese, butter, hot dogs, coleslaw, all on a bun. I'm trying to find a picture of it. But yeah, you I mean, bacon wrapped cheese, hot dogs, scallops, everything, man. You wrap, we, we put bacon on everything. Filet mignon. Hey, it's not good enough on its own. We got to throw some, you know, got to throw what? some uh, bacon around that baby. What? Huh? We always bacon wrap. Food. I guarantee there's probably a bag of minced bacon in our refrigerator for when we eat salad and just sprinkle up bacon on the salad. I mean, you know, we're, we're not we're not going to go again into the whole like you know Germany beating America with salad by just having a meat salad thing. Like, well, we love meat salad. I mean, meat. Well, we do have a meat salad. Yeah, I know. It we is, went over this beautiful. like on one of the previous episodes. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, so, we can always revisit it. It's okay. We're, we're, okay, let's leave it there before we start down the pipe of talking about ciders. Because I mean, that's, we wrap. It's going to take the rest of the night. We're not chunks, doing the cider Chunks thing. of cheese in bacon, and then you cover it in like, you know, little breadcrumbs and things, and you deep fry. I mean, I mean, bacon. Nine out of ten mm -hmm. times. Bacon fried bacon. Bacon Someone's bacon. saying nine out of ten times he tunes into the show. It's a, us talking about food. The thing <laughs> is, always, we just yeah, love food. Come yeah, on, everybody gotta eat. Gotta eat. I mean, eventually, this part of the this part of the uh, the, the sort of episode, uh, the, the you know, show will actually be broken out into its own separate show called, uh, and, and we'll, we will have. Uh, um, What's uh, it we'll, have, we'll have, well, no, we'll have uh, it, 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 we'll have Nom Nom on, in Nom Nom on. But, yeah, the Nom Nom show. But, but seriously, guys, it, it, I, I don't think you, in the I don't think you understand what, what, how this works in, in the Imperium. This is like social glue, right? Whenever we are about to start arguing a little bit too passionately and, and getting personal, we will s do the safety thing and just talk about food or drink. This is how we resolve controversy and conflict yeah like you know nothing 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 resolves a you know a, a, a kind of a esoteric chat about taxes in eve better <laughs> than like you know moving it on to how the fuck america deep fries and wraps things in fucking bacon and cheese all the fucking time there are people who braid bacon slices around turkey oh no bacon weave bacon weave bacon if you've weave, never heard baby. it you can do you can do it either a regular or candied bacon weave where you do a crisscross like blanket pattern with pieces of bacon, and then you can either just bake it like that, uh, or you could candy it. 
Okay, let, let, bacon wheel. let me stop you for a second, Dawn, because <laughs> I think this one is important. I can follow you, and I think most in here can follow you when 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 Americans keep saying, "Oh, we can just put some bacon on it or put some bacon in it," because bacon is fucking magic. That's just a fact. But when you grab the sugar, the rest of the world is saying, "Put that down, please." Just say no. Do not put sugar on your bacon. How about how about chocolate? I mean, yeah, oh, wait, chocolate Caleb, do not. Caleb, no, do not insane. knock it. Do not knock it till you try it because it is. I never had candy bacon till I tried to make some myself, so, and so it was so, all amazing. But do not. It's, it's, it's kind of like saying. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm being hyperbolic here, but like it's kind of like saying, do not knock heroin until you've tried it. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. It. It's like, no, well, it is, you should yeah. put this down. This Caleb, is really what's that? good. It's 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 amazing. Yeah, what is going to kill you? It, Caleb, it is kind of addictive. It's... That's how good it is, right? Okay, what what happened to the whole no kink shaming here? I'm just saying. Well, this is not this is not kink. This is addiction. It could be shaming. a kink. And 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 we should Don't try and me. shame it's... addiction a little bit. You, you <laughs> sitting there snorting a, a few lines of cocaine, and then your neighbor saying, "Hey, you should really try this rock instead. It's so good. You shouldn't kick it until you try." It's like, no, thank you. I'm just going to stick with snorting it. Thank you very much. Um, um, <laughs> um, wait, 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 Caleb. This is diverted from a family show. Just Caleb, saying. Caleb, how many coffees did you have today? No more than normal. Right. He, he, he was super, he, he was up super early this morning, though. Yeah, it, it might actually be the, the sleep deprivation. And uh, I blame you guys because we pretty much went massively long and uh, yesterday. So, yeah. But I thought you liked things massively long. No, that's you, Dawn. <laughs> and bacon wrapped. <laughs> I don't even like. I don't even like just, uh, just, uh, bacon just that much comparatively. I, I like it. bacon. Just don't, just, just don't, just don't deep fry it, please, God. No, like <laughs> I like bacon, but it's a meat, so I think bacon no, should it's be a soft. Fully saturated fat. According to no, no, I get like center cut bacon where it's mostly there. meat and very little fat comparatively. Well, and just just to roll back to what I said earlier, if if you guys really want to lure uh, Dawn, just rub some bacon on it. That no, I'm just saying like you keep knocking really good food because you're just like oh it's American style. Why would I ever like it? I'm okay, European then, and prejudiced. Then, blah blah blah. I, I don't necessarily need a, a, an insane dose of sugar in the morning like that that's no, all i'm saying that's you don't all eat I'm candied saying. bacon like, for the morning that goes on your burger at lunch okay don the problem here is we understand that you like food and and all that stuff we like food in europe as well it's just when we look at a plate we don't automatically go oh this needs some more calories regardless of how many calories are already on it we don't like completely smash more and more on on the food we don't look at a, a done plate and say oh that needs some more cheese and and then some sugar and then some bacon and then some more cheese and then it's done well i'm gonna say if you, if know, you bacon want bacon and you want... cheese fries are are really quite tasty but but don but if if you want some sweet in your burger why not caramelize some onions that's exactly cool. like that. Did oh, I yeah. say those weren't it, going on? Did yeah. I say those weren't going on too? Yeah. This is your problem. I love. I, mean, I love the, when the obesity I thing happens. It's like you just put sugar on everything. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to put sugar to caramelize your onions. You no, you don't. But like, you it's, just cook it's, them it's, to it's, fuck. It's it's not meant to be an e. It's not meant to be an and. It's meant to be an or. That's what I'm. That's what we're that, that's what, saying. That's what's basically saying. If you want something caramelized, you can take it and do it to some of the other pieces of your dish. But American solution is, hey, we can caramelize all of it. It's fine. Now everything's got sugar on it. I, I mean, the burger is supposed to be caramelized. So I'm gonna say that's a point is, to it. This is a link to a properly configured. You know, order of um, French fries with cheese and bacon. I'm just saying. See, I think the thing is, when you add cheese and bacon to They're, it, like, are you really watering 
like fries, or are you ordering cheese See, and bacon, look, and then with fries? I mean, like, race on chili on cheese fries. No, you got to oh. You got to find a way to get the cheese. But listen, it's a bacon? way to get cheese and bacon into your mouth. Yeah, but and how, how about not you just... look like a pig? <laughs> How about you just have no, the bacon on its own? It's like you can't sit there and just like pour bacon and nacho cheese and lick it out of like a bowl or something because that's just weird. The, the funny thing about the picture you just sent, Eric, is the yeah. fact that you you have uh, fries, right? And fries are supposed to be these nice little finger morsels that you pick up and then you dip them in condiment. But what you guys have basically done with that is you basically just put cheese on it. So now it's this this block that's like solid. Yeah. And no, you have well, that's solid. the fun that's part. Solid. That's a cheese that's sauce. Too, it won't be solid. That's too, the fun part. Too, you pull it out. You you pull pieces out. You pull a clump of fries out with cheese and bacon. Maybe oh, um, you've got another. I'm, I'm sorry, Caleb, Caleb, but they have a point. It's not going to be solid because they aren't using real cheese. It's a cheese sauce. Oh, right. shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> I won't argue with that. Our cheese is fake. I'll tell you what, the potato patch, baby. Also, the other version of this, it has gravy on it. Well, you're talking it's between, right? It reminds me of one of my... Uh, Actually, one of my favorite snacks, right? I really, really like nachos and doing something exactly like what you've done just with nachos instead, right? So bacon, mm -hmm. cheese, and then just one big There's no lump bacon on nachos. Just glued. Yes, there is on the way yep. that we make it, but They're because I added bacon to it. Seriously. Now look who's now you're real. Now you're just uh, complete hypocrites, right? We just established that making food better, you add bacon to it. I didn't add sugar, though, but... I take nachos, That's where you I take cheese, yeah. and then I put bacon on it, and then I let it all become this big mass. But eating is it, this thing is a horror. It's a horror show. I need a bath when I've actually ate uh, something like that. I, I just want to point out that um, yeah. most American cheese is vegan. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Have you ever heard of a state called Wisconsin? Mm. No, not clearly not. Yeah, no. It's called Wisconsin, not with vegan. Not, I'm not. We're not talking about you know, you know, craft cheese process slices. There's tremendous amounts of regular cheese around here. I mean, you go into grocery stores. No, you, you when I say American cheese, I mean that style of quote unquote cheese. I don't mean cheese made in America. Yeah. Yeah, what, but... what what people tend to call American cheese isn't cheese. It's like some... isn't it also because I mean, you can't really call it dairy, dairy either. Well, they, they don't really dairy put cheese anymore. finish, right? That's why they call them slices, not like it over here. Like if you if you're getting like uh, slices that you don't really tend to put on burgers, like they're not called cheese, you, but basically because you know they they don't have the prerequisites to be labeled as cheese uh, you know or as dairy that's why they call them slices at least here in the uk anyway i mean you can you can get any cheese sliced in in america yeah i know but what i'm saying is they can't call it cheese they have to call it something and the the, the well they can't the terminology that they've either. decided yeah. the terminology that they decided to use is just slices because they can't really kind of you know call it something else Yeah, um, I'm not sure what, you know, why you think that uh, American cheese isn't cheese. It's cheese. But you guys have, like, you guys have, like, legit cheese, you know. Yeah, I get it. And stuff like that in the U.S. Yeah, well, what we're talking about is, like, yeah. you know, like, uh, what you guys would call American uh, uh, yellow, like, uh, yellow American cheese, right? Yeah. Some of the some of the products that you put cheese on the name of maybe shouldn't really be char characterized as cheese. Well, there's processed like, cheese slices and there's American cheese, which actually is cheese. Two different things. Well, you the know, other Velveeta, kind of thing is like it, it's processed well, stuff, right? But Eric, Eric, that doesn't get exported, Don't right? Really care. So everyone else in the world doesn't know that as American cheese. Okay. Whatever you guys want to want to float your boat with. I think this is back to the cider discussion. It's really not cheese if it has not <laughs> fermented at all. Oh no! Don't start this. But this is true. Uh, 
Okay. Fruit stop. Uh, okay. There is, uh, there cheese, there is cheese. Please, Caleb. I implore you. Do you have cottage cheese? Um. Yeah. Okay. Pretty Not sure fermented. Has... Not fermented. Yeah. The enzymes are sure just the... dropped in there in the curds four minutes done. Yes, but the fermentation okay. process has begun. It's not finished, uh, but yeah. it has begun. Same thing. You know, the same enzymes are dropped into things like American cheese and stuff. Well, um, again, I, I know that modern production of some of these things actually cheat and only use the enzymes and actually right. don't have the bacteria anymore. Um, so it it doesn't really have a chance to ferment. So th uh, things like the cottage cheese and the feathers and stuff like that, they they don't have the time to actually even remotely start doing anything re like fermentation. But at, at, at least the original recipes did actually do that. I'm just going with, you know, lardo and red onions. We're good. Mmm, red onions. And lardo. What's lardo? Lardo? Oh, yeah, what's Ooh, lardo? Oh, it's a great Italian. It's basically bacon lard. <laughs> oh, and spices right. put in a a a heavy marble canister for I I don't remember how long, but it just there, there I was does its thing. There I was thinking it, you're it wasn't it's bacon lard. lard. It's like, was okay, lard. so 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 your <laughs> bacon was not was not actually rich enough. You decided to remove the meat and just have the lard. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I siphon off the bacon fat and store, like, store it. Um, oh, the best fat in the world. Because it's, it's, it's nice. Fat. Well, yeah. Uh, and, and you are doing a service of removing ducks from the world who are, like, rapey bastards. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't care. They taste amazing. I will rid the world of ducks on an individual level. Just give them to me. I will cook them and eat them all. I've, I've <laughs> said this before. Why the fuck would you eat goose? when you can have duck. Exactly like that. And especially if it's a bit of a fat duck, so it's got that fat underneath the skin. It's like, oh my god. Uh, they can't be too fat, because then um, you can't actually see all of the fat off. I'm going to make you duck one day. Oh, I love please duck. do. And duck is so easy. easy to make. You don't even have to like try. You just put it in, put it in a pan that's like a deep dish, so that way the fat mm -hmm. doesn't like leak out everywhere. Put some butter and paprika, salt and pepper on the skin, so it crisps up, and you're good to go. What do you mean in a pan? What? So like a baking what dish. He, what is he talking about? I, you, I, you I don't. I don't know. I you kind of think you don't make duck in a pan. What? What the fuck? You put it in the oven to bake. You roasted whole. How are you doing? Like, are you crazy? Okay, it has to be are... roasted whole. Okay, what are you roasting it in? In an oven? An oven. Or are you like, okay, then you. She's going to put, put it in. But the a... duck. So the question really is. It's, it's, it's a roasting pan. Whatever the <laughs> fuck you want to use. You can use a dish that has walls so that way it doesn't <laughs> leak out everywhere. Look, in yeah. stuff only, that's what you make a duck in. I mean, yes, it's a. Like it's a, it's a, it's a it, I mean, yeah. Yes, it's enough. called it's a, a roasting pan. Or you can cheat. You can cheat. There's a very good trick that's actually very American because I'm pretty sure it was an American that told me. Um, it, it's uh, it's called a, a, a beer duck or a beer chicken, where you basically empty oh, a, yeah, no, a, I've seen a beer, right, a canned beer, and then you can wrap the bird over the yeah, can you, you and stand it up inside your your your, you, your oven or barbecue don't, don't grill. You, no, you don't empty. You, you, you don't empty liquid. it. You actually, yeah, you you keep it. You keep some of the beer in it, but like basically the 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 beer yeah. kind of like moistens the inside. But yeah, you you basically you put like some water in it. You, you basically stand it up on the beer can. And, yes, yeah. and the cool thing is that basically what you fun. do, you can either do it with beer or you can do it with actual Coca Cola. It's really really good with right. Coca Cola. So that's you what take, I you made take my. A, duck you in. take a sip of the cola, right, and then you pour some cola over the the chicken. And then you put the chicken on the cola can and put it in your. Uh, yeah, I, I, I w would like to make a like, specific point as to use the can and not the bottle. But like, <laughs> Don, Don, <laughs> doesn't if, work if with a bottle. If you're using that, the problem is it's open. Okay, so uh, the duck is getting direct heat all the time. 
with the one That's I link, okay. it has a lid. Okay. The lid is there for listen, a reason. Listen, you, you know, using you know, this dish, it came out perfectly great. Everything you do, was amazing you do realize, and delicious. You do realize that there is something called like a uh, tinfoil that you can put over it. It's not exactly. Well, the, the trick is doing it the way that sauce is, is, is showing you, right? This is the way to get the skin perfect. Yes. I mean, if, if you like are super, super serious, if, I mean, if you are super serious of ridding the world of ducks, then yeah, you definitely go Sothrasil's kind of way. Because like, yeah. People will, okay, there's not if a lot of things, okay, there's not a lot of things beginner. on this planet that's better than bacon. But duck skin from, an, from a perfectly cooked duck is actually better than bacon. Oh, yes. Especially when there's like a tiny bit of fat Still underneath? It's, it's that one, oh, the, God, the, the blubbery fat amazing. underneath, and then the salt cr uh, crunch on the top. It's like, oh my God. So, quick question. I'm sure though, some like... of our viewers that haven't been here when it's been just food time are like, we spent 35 <laughs> minutes talking about what's happening. That's nothing. Uh, happening I think the real eat. question That's the problem. I think, I think the real question is uh, do you inflate the duck or not? Technically, you just deep it. Are, are you moving okay, into King territory? Because I'd like to get off then. After you, so, 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 it was with, it kind of... you know, bacon and oyster uh, stuffing. Let me tell you, man. What the fuck did you say, Caleb? Nothing. Well, apparently that's a apparently that's a technique that uh, Chinese restaurants do when they do uh, Peking duck. Well, that's the whole idea of Peking duck, isn't it? They that inflate it in some way, shape, or form. Inflate it with like hot gas. Yeah, I I don't quite understand why. <laughs> but apparently There's also the, the Hungarian version where instead of gas, they use uh boiling water. Well, that's kind of like the uh, the 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 sort of beer can kind of thing, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to make for you. Soth, if uh, I make duck for you, classic Danish roast duck with glazed potatoes and all the trimmings is amazing. Well, why are you glazing your potatoes? So why are you adding sugar to the same potatoes? Reason, same reason, same reason that Soth said that you can glaze your onions, which is fine. It's you don't cheating. glaze it; you, you caramelize them, and it's the natural just... sugars in the. I, I in would the... no, you could. I would have thought you'd use the duck sugar to no, have your don't add sugar to that. No, you just no. I mean, I would have thought you'd just use the duck fat for it, but you know. No, no, just make sweet and sour crab, like my my grandma would make. Well, it's it's caramelized it's potatoes, food. and they become brown, and they are amazing. So I gotta go filling, but that, but that doesn't require sugar. Uh, you, know, you can use thing. you can use prunes or any other wild berries, really. Uh, I want you to know. Prunes, really? What do you do? Make a pruny in the morning too? No, it's, it's um, the reason the, you use. Okay, the reason you use prunes for this is to not overpower the flavor with too much fruitiness because the prunes are not as sour as other fruits. So, so mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. it actually gives less flavor to to the to the wild duck, which is why you use it. Okay, so so I want you to know it's it it it's it's, it's show over time, and, and I get to go buy some Velveeta. So <laughs> okay. No. Yeah. Can we do the one last thing, or like we got to do like, the one last? No, no, no. We we got time. We get one last thing. I just wanted to jay you guys by saying I'm going to get some Velveeta, man, because you know it melts better. Makes a great little cheese salsa thing. Oh, okay. A little taco beef, onions, tomatoes, a couple chilies, the good stuff. So, okay, one last thing. Here we go, Caleb. You're up, baby. Well, I am just looking forward to uh, uh, EVE Online uh, livening up a little bit and being a little bit more interesting again. But apparently the crabs need to finish rebuilding their anthills. All right. Don. Uh, if anyone needs a, prof a uh, seasoned uh, in-home house shopper for yourself if you're too busy to go look at houses and you want someone to do it for you, talk to my mom. Uh, other than that, I hope everyone has a great weekend. For all the Americans, enjoy your extra free day if you have it. And then um, candied bacon is amazing and y'all can get over it. Alright. Soth? 
Well, I, I think I need to challenge Caleb's cooking skills more often because I'm, I'm looking forward to eating duck. It's awesome. All right, the cloud. Um, um, I mean, I'm just looking forward to the next, uh, uh the next unit match on the uh, AT. Oh wait, no, we can't. Uh, I guess yeah, we're out. Have... We're out. Fuck. So I guess we're gonna have to just go back and uh, build up our uh, our new sort of uh, our, our reclaimed kind of areas after winning the latest leg of a uh, you know thirteen month long war. Oh, uh, there, there is there is a small thing. We're such losers. I, I have a small culinary thing because I need to remind people that it's now hunting season again, so you can get all your good game now. Not, we get a couple more uh, days here in America. You're, hunting season. you're stop, are you stocking up on venison or something? We have a, a a special supplier that as soon as it's hunting season, we get only game for the rest of the year. Yeah, mm. I remember you talking about venison like uh, last year. Because it's only twenty percent more expensive. It's like, oh my god. I can get all my birds as game and all my venison and like this is just magic food. It's like ten times better and only twenty percent more cost. Like fine, I I'll buy that. Thank you. No balls though. No balls allowed oh, in Denmark. Nice. Or is part really nice. All right, so uh I'm just gonna go, you know, have some Italian hot sausage with a ton of mozzarella cheese and caramelized onions and peppers all over it for dinner. Just in case you guys weren't hungry enough after the show already. And yeah, enjoy that with your tap. cilantro. There's no pictures. cilantro. No cilantro. Okay. Pictures, Eric. Remember pictures. Oh, I can give you some pictures. I'll, I'll send you guys some pictures. Yeah, pics it didn't happen. Yeah, well, we made it. We warmed it up yesterday and we have some, you know, we got some nachos. We got everything. I mean, bratwurst, you know. Hot dogs, it's it's the typical weekend. And lots of people say in, in in the Northeast, hey, we're barbecuing, which is not really barbecuing once you've been to the South and had real barbecue smoke. Yeah. This like is the, just the cooking cookout. over charcoal, people. All right? You're just having a, you're having a cookout. We so, are. Is that a, yeah, nice. All right. And everybody, you have, uh, in America, have a wonderful long three-day weekend if you can. And, uh. Everybody else, uh, you know, you guys get to go to work on Monday, so have a great time. All right. And with that, we are <laughs> out of here. I'm so mean, aren't I? I'm kind of mean. That was a bit of a dip. I have no, <laughs> pity. I have no pity. By the way, by the way, yes, bacon is wonderful, even on your pancakes. <laughs> <laughs>